What is going on everybody? All right, so for today's vlog, we're gonna be talking about the market update numbers for Durham region as of February, 2018. Now, please keep in mind, as always, these numbers are for all of Durham region. For each particular city, the numbers will range, okay? So if you're interested to find out the numbers for your particular area, or you would be interested in getting a market evaluation for your home, feel free to contact us. It's absolutely free and no obligation. So having said that, let's jump right into it. The trend has continued of what we've been noticing over the last six months. Listings are, are up, sales are down, and sales price is also down. However, we're noticing some promising issues as well. So first and foremost, the sales. Sales are down 27% from a year ago, February. We had 833 sales in February 2017 as opposed to 604. Okay, so we've noticed a big drop there. But that's been the trend over the last few months as well. Obviously the numbers are smaller, but on the scale ratio, on a percentage base, we've seen a same drop, about 20 to 25%. Listings are up 23%. We had 976 new listings hit the market versus 1,202 new listings come to market in February of this, of this year. Now, the number's always gonna be a little bit more inflated because a lot of people will list and then cancel and relist if their home doesn't sell quick enough or if they're not getting enough activity. However, even with that involved, I'd still say we're gonna be in the 20% range uh, for the number of new listings. So, we've got a huge differential. We've got almost 50% differential between supply and demand as opposed to a year ago. However, our actual sale price is down only 11%. Now, I say only 11% because that's from a year ago when we were in the midst of a huge, huge run, all right? So, um, you know, when you actually compare it to the last six months, we've seen it flatten out and we've seen it steadily increase month over month. We bottomed out around $560,000 for all of Durham region and we've been noticing it creep back up. I'd say we're gonna be breaking back over $600,000 in the next couple months. Now. For the people who are always trying to figure out what's gonna happen with the market and they're trying to time it, you are spinning your wheels and it's gonna end up hurting you in the long run, all right? Uh, if you are thinking about buying or selling real estate, it should not be for the short term, it should not be for speculation, it should be based on what you're looking to do. If you think you're gonna be somewhere for the next three to five or more years, buying real estate is not gonna be a bad decision for you. However, if you're just fear of missing out and you're kinda of like, oh my God, the price is gonna jump back up and I just need to get in because I need to get in, um, it's, you're not, your motivation is not the right in the right space, all right? To give you an idea, a lot of people are saying, well, you know what, when, a, when there's a buyer, buyers are saying, oh, I'm gonna wait until the prices come down even more. And when sellers are saying, I'm gonna wait until prices creep back up to sell. We're not gonna see the prices we saw last year uh, for the next little while. All right, that was a crazy run. Uh, real estate prices should never increase by 40% year over year. Real estate is supposed to be a very stable asset class. Um, so the fact that we saw such a huge bull run was, uh, was, not, was not the norm. And we saw a huge pullback from that. And now with the government being involved, we're seeing prices stabilize and slowly creep back up the way they usually would. However, for the people who are saying they're waiting for the prices to come back down, uh, you have to break things down and understand where what's creating the prices in your area. Uh, the biggest drivers of real estate values is population growth and employment. All right. Also for us, we're a unique situation in Durham region is our proximity to the GTA. So GTA's population growth is extremely strong, one of the highest population growths in, uh, in all of Canada. In addition to that, we have high employment because a lot of people who live in Durham region actually work in the city. Um, also, the fact that we're so close to the GTA and when you've got Peel, York, all these other areas in the air, um, around Toronto that are so much more expensive than us, we're literally the most undervalued real estate. So for the people who are waiting on the sidelines saying real estate's too expensive now and they're going to end up just waiting because they want to wait for the prices to come back down, uh, you're going to be waiting a very long time. I posted a picture of a two bedroom, one bath bungalow and I asked people, what do you think this house sold for? And everyone gave prices ranging from 300,000 up to 650,000 because of what they've experienced in their market. What I didn't tell people is where this house was located. This is located in uh, near Silicon Valley and the home sold for $2 million cash. It was a 10 day deal. Market value doesn't care what you think a property is worth. You have to look at the bigger picture and see, okay, I think it's overvalued, but usually markets aren't rational anyway. So even if you think it's over, uh, overvalued, why though? Okay, if you think employment's going out the window and you think we're never gonna have population growth and things are gonna start slowing down, sure, wait it out. But if you're just doing it because you wanna save money and you think you can get yourself a better deal, save yourself $25,000, $50,000, in the long run, A, you're gonna price yourself out of the market, 
And in five to 10 years, the real estate prices now is gonna be like, oh my God, I should have bought then. You can look at any real estate chart, guys. Real estate, like any market is cyclical. You're gonna see the ups, you're gonna see the downs. However, when you're buying for the fact that you need somewhere to live, you don't wanna spend all your money on rent and you wanna get some sort of return, real estate investing or buying your home is a good idea. All right, but you have to look at what your motivations are and what your expectations are gonna be uh, from that investment. All right, so hopefully that gives some clarifications, but as always, any questions, comments, please comment below, let us know what you think. Um, like I said earlier, if you're interested in getting a market evaluation for your home for a free, no obligation consultation, feel free to reach out and let me know. We'll be more than happy to book one for you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.